Hi, my name is Phoebe, and today we're going to go through how to make a puffer jacket, but with the new fill tool that was released in 6.2. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here we have our closed screen open, ready to go. And here we don't have any internal lines yet. So we're going to add some. If you watch the edi editing video, then you editing trick 6.2 edition, um, then you know about this new update with internal lines. But if you haven't, guess what? You're about to learn it right now. So get excited. Um, what we're going to do is go to our editing tool. And I'm going to select both my front and back at the same time because I want this to be done at the same time. We're getting smart, not hard. And all I'm gonna do is right click, go to offset internal line. And now with our pop-up box, you're gonna see that you can do number of offsets as always. So I'm gonna do 12. And distance, now there's a drop down, so you could do all so that they all have the same distance as before or you can do individual so that each one has an individual distance. And that is the cool update. There's more, don't worry. So also with this offset, you can do offset from, so it can be previous or selected. Let's do selected. So with the selected line, it's doing so from this first selected line and then how much it's offsetting from that line. So for the first one, we're gonna say one inch from the first line. Then we're going to say um, three inches. Then let's do four, six, down. We're gonna do seven and nine. I'm doing all of this math in my head and I'm really proud of myself for that. 12. You can start to see now that there's a preview and you can start to see my vision for this. There we go. I did that correctly, and I'm really proud of myself for that. And I'm gonna hit okay. And now I have these internal lines added into my um, garment. So now that I have these internal lines added in, I'm now going to go to our new fill tool. Okay. So with this fill tool, I'm going to select this and holding down shift, I'm going to select all of these pattern pieces here that I want to add um, my fill to. I'm now going to release shift and I'll have the outlines of these and I can just drag this down and click. Right. Now I've added this in. Now, what I forgot to add internal lines to my sleeve. No worries. I can go back to my editing pattern tool and just go to my sleeve here. Right click. I'm going to say offset internal line. Instead of selected, I'm going to do previous. So now how, what this is reading is it's reading um, from each previous internal line. So now I'm, I'm going to say two inches, three, um, two inches and then 0.5 and then two inches from that and then 0.5. So you can see like now you can do the measurements a little differently. So it's going to be like two inches. I'm going to do two inches from that like half inch line. And then I want half an inch from that two inch line. And then two inches. Do I already just want half an inch? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then half an inch, two inches, half an inch. So 
Okay. And you can see that the preview is all right here. I'm happy. I can hit OK. Now it's applied to all four pattern pieces, which is great. I'm going to go back to my fill tool now. So with my fill tool, I know when something's activated or when it's applying the fill because there's going to be a purple outline around it. So these internal lines that I just added do not have that purple outline on them or like line around them. That means they are not activated. They're gray. So I can just use my marquee box and click on top of, click over all of them to then activate them all very quickly. I'm going to do the same to the other side. So being able to deactivate and activate is actually really nice, especially if you have certain like patches on top of things, or if you have internal lines for pockets, you can deactivate them or activate them as you see fit. It's a really nice add-on that we should all be very happy about. All right, so now everything's activated, we're ready to go. Now let's just select all of these pattern pieces. Just so you know, so the ones that you select, these are like this one below this is linked up to this. So you only have to select one set and then you're good to go. So over here in our property editor, we see some new information. In filler, we're gonna have some options for different fill types. We've got duck 7525, duck 9010, Goose 8020 and Goose 9010. I'm going to do Duck 9010. Now you can put in your weight. So this is one thing you should know. If you, here I'm going to like select this sleeve and I'm going to put in my weight 75. The sleeve is going to now be 75 grams. Um, same with this one. Like this and put in 75. Now, if I select my front and my back, and if I put in 130, that 130 is going to be divided amongst all four, all three of these patterns. So now you see it's 31, 31, 67. So this is divided amongst it all. Now, if I wanted 130 for each pattern piece, then I have to select and say 130. Or secret menu alert, get excited. I could just select all three, go to my weight, right click, get a calculator. And I could have done 130 times three equals. And hit OK. This will update. And then I'll have that. Now it does distribute it based off of like the size of the pattern and everything. So sometimes it won't evenly do it, but it does distribute it. So that's just a good thing to know. I'm going to do 130, but I'm going to keep these what they were. All right, so I'm going to show you all something. I hope you to so that you can learn it. So here, if I have my weight, I've inputted the fill, and if I hit just simulate, pop up box is going to come up. This is called telling you you have forgotten a step. It's okay, we all forget. So this is saying you we failed to calculate the fill volume. Please ensure that you have entered the accurate value of the weight and quilting distance. So what we haven't done is add in the quilting distance. So it's just telling us that it's still going to simulate. What's going to happen is it's not going to simulate correctly. Like you're not going to see the highs and lows like you'd want to. So I'm going to just turn simulation off. Control Z. And now I'm going to select my body fat, um, pattern pieces. I'm going to enter this quilting distance. All right. 
The closing distance is, if you go to this little I information, it's gonna give you all of the information you need to know about what to input for this quilting distance. Some of you might have these questions. I'm going to answer them right now. What if your quilting lines vary? It's okay, just put in the largest amount. What if you have horizontal and vertical quilting lines? It's okay, just put in the largest amount. What if you have diamond shaped quilting lines? It's okay, just put in the largest amount. The answer will normally be to your question, it's okay, just put in the largest amount. So what I mean by that is just put in the um, largest amount of distance between the two. So for this one, it's three inches. So I'm gonna put in three. There's another distance here to here, but that's not what I care about. Um, I want this quilting distance from here to here. However, if you, if you're curious, we can be here. This. this is four inches. This is five. So if you really wanted to, um, we can we can do that. So for here, I'll actually show you. So for the body pattern, for the front pattern pieces, we're gonna stick with three. For the back one, we're gonna do 4.5. Okay. For the sleeve, for this one, we're gonna do two inches. But for this one, we're gonna do five. Now, what we're gonna do is hit simulate. Now you see the difference. So with the five, what's happening is it knows this is the largest. So it knows that this largest one should be filled completely. And so it's taking that and then it's um, calculating all the rest. So you do see that there is a slight difference. Same with the back. So another thing I want to call out to us all is all of these pattern pieces are at particle distance of 20. This is going to look a lot better when you lower your particle distance. I'm gonna lower it down to 10. Another call out I'm gonna make though, is that is going to slow down your computer a bit. So when I've lowered it down to 10, I'm now gonna hit simulate. And you're gonna see even more of a difference between all of these. So again, this sleeve has a five um, quilting distance. This one has a two. The front has a three. The back, <clears throat> the back has a four. So something like a four and a three you really don't start to see the difference, but for something of a five and a two, you do. So just know that and know like put in what's best and what like you want the look to be like. So if it should actually be more consistent and like less of uh, indents and difference like this one is, then you should put in two. But if you if it should have a lot of a difference, then you should put in the truest largest amount. Just gonna let this sleep all of it. But as um, as you can see, having it at ten, it does slow it down a bit. Okay, another thing I wanna call out, when you're out of the fill tool and you select a sleeve, you're then going to your property editor 
And you see, if you scroll all the way down to simulation properties, and then you're going to see filler. You'll then see exactly what you input here. And you can make changes here in your property editor. One question that might be coming up is, what happened to pressure? Don't you worry, it's still here. But it's just not applied to pattern pieces that have the fill. However, if I select like these waistbands, you see that there is still pressure, the pressure option. So you still have pressure as an option if you'd like it. One final thing that we can cover is I'm going to select these pattern pieces, not these. And I'm going to scroll up. Here we have realistic quilting lines. I can check this. Actually, let me just check on the front. I'm going to check on the front for realistic quilting lines. This is going to do is it's going to add a little bit more realism to the quilting. And you'll be able to see the difference between this and your sleeves. It does slow down your computer a bit, just a heads up. But you can start to see how this looks a little bit more realistic and everything. This, especially versus this. Then all we have to do is add in some fabrics, change some stuff around, and jump into our render window. And you can get something that looks just like this with our new fill tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section. Somebody will get back to you. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. As I've said before, we have a lot of great content here and you can learn just so much. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed everything.